Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, The Everyday Non-Expert here, and today I wanted to talk to you about my top 10 FOC comic picks that have their orders due uh, Monday, February 13th, 2023, and for anything DC related, like this beautiful Bermejo cover right here, you're going to want to get that order in because things from Lunar are due the Sunday, the day before, February 12th, 2023. So, without further ado... Let's get started. Okay, so I know this is a little bit more ado. However, I did want to remind you that I am doing my 1K subscriber giveaway. I'll put the card right here so you can check out that video. And I also have my PayPal and my Venmo links in the description of this video if you want to just support the channel before we can get this thing monetized that'd be greatly appreciated now let's continue and first up i want to just talk about a couple covers first and we have gotham city year one this is cover b the george molina variant and next we have the joker the man who stopped laughing number six this is the bermejo variant he has been killing it on this series I mean, look at that. That is insane. Look how the slice went all the way back, ear to ear, literally. That's crazy. Anyway. This one is actually a facsimile. It is the first appearance of Jason Todd. First cameo appearance of Jason Todd. And then we have... Uh, all the Alex Rosses. So we have Wolverine 31 with the White Queen. We have Miles Morales, Spider Man number four with the Scorpion. We have Hulk 13 with the Leader. And we have Captain Marvel number 47 with Juggernaut. And then I'm going to do a couple number ones that I think sound interesting. So this is the Arc one shot. And it has to do with illegal poaching and stuff like that. And I just think it's pretty interesting. And then... Um, Stoneheart number one. Is... Um, the... Oh, this one is... There's a preview. If you want to go here and you want to click the previews, you can go ahead and read it. I didn't um, know about it, but I wanted to bring this to your attention, so that way you could go read this preview, and if you liked it, you could put it on your FOC. And then, Hellboy and PPRD 1957, a one-shot. Just thought you might be interested in that for you Hellboy fans. Alright, so, number 10, we have Sonic the Hedgehog. Number 1, this is the 5th Anniversary Edition. So... I'm guessing this is a wraparound. It has to be. I don't know how else you, it would work. Um, but then there's also covers. Oh, so this is actually a reprint of number one five years ago. Uh, but there is a bonus short story. So um, let's move on and look at some of the variants. This is cover B. Usually when it comes to Sonic, the variants are incentives. So I did want to mention that there is a cover C. I don't know if that's good. They don't put if it's a 1 for 25 or not, and or a 1 for 10 or what have you. So I'm just going to put them all. This one seems like this could be one of the more popular ones. Um, but that is cover D. Alright, so at number 9, we have Adventures of Superman John Kent number 1. And this one, it says that there is a uh, mysterious ally with Val Zod who is actually connected to the Super Family somehow. So there is some spec worthiness in there, mystery person. Number eight, we have Lazarus Planet, Planet Revenge of the Gods. Number one, a Karen Gillan. And this one is actually, um, it references Gods of the Multiverse. So there could be 
I don't know, just different variations of different gods, and so there could be some first appearances in here. And number seven, we have Flash 794. So this is actually the, it's a new costume for Flash's daughter. So if you're interested in some DC spec, there you go. Number six is Batman The Adventures Continue Season 3, number three. And this is actually the uh, first appearance, I'm pretty sure, of Straight Man, Joker's right hand. And he's right here on cover A, it looks like. But it looks like they're, actually, if I back out, I haven't looked to see if this is maybe, he's in here, nope, don't see him in there. I don't think that, yeah, so I didn't see him in any of the other ones. All right, so then we have these, there's a couple Star Wars ones I put right here. Um, there's no cover for it yet, but this one says, um, so, uh, Asajj, Ventr uh, Asajj Ventress was dispatched by Count Dooku. Where is it? What is her target? So, she's... But just what is her target? So, she's tracking down some target. And we don't know who it is or what it is. And then this one also has something similar. This is the High Republic Adventures number three. Uh, a, they acquire a devastating new weapon. So it could be a first appearance of a new weapon. And... So that was five and four. And now we have three is actually Hellcat. And this is the first appearance, first team appearance of Sleepwalkers. So if they, I maybe those Star Wars covers could have made that hot them higher, and this would have been number five. But this one, it just is, um, you know, it's a Marvel spec, so it's got a little bit more weight than those DC specs. And I'm not 100% sure if those Star Wars ones were worth it. But this one is a uh, first appearance. Uh, it's a team appearance of the Sleepwalkers. So something. And then I did want to put this Momoko variant is really good. It's just one of my favorite Momoko variants of all time. So I just wanted to show you that. I actually just did a whatnot show and there were three or four people who just wanted Momoko. Uh, people still loving that. All right, so number two. So this one I didn't include with the other Alex Ross ones because I think this one has a little bit special value with um, the, uh, I almost said Multiverse of Madness, with uh, Quantumania. Wow, I couldn't think of that word for a sec. Quantumania coming out with obviously Kang being the baddie and he's wearing the suit in the movie and stuff like that. So I think this one could have some legs on the secondary market, especially if you can get yourself a nice copy and grade it. Kang looks like he might be a bigger deal than Thanos was. Thanos was the looming big bad over everything, but it seems like Kang is going to have a very big impact on everything throughout phase five. Um, possibly six and seven as well. So th there are some rumors about phase seven being in this timeless one. So this one is uh, just, I think it's got a little bit better value than any of the other Alex Ross ones. If you don't want to get uh, all of the covers and you just wanted to get one, this is the one I would recommend based on how I feel about um, the current state of the MCU and things like that. So, no, that's number two. Number one, before I get to number one, I did want to remind you that I do have my PayPal and my Venmo in the description of the video if you felt like this earned a little bit donation or anything like that. Uh, it helps support the channel. So, continuing on. Uh, oh, one last thing about these uh, timeless variants. I actually am working on a video right now 
Uh, I wanted to work on it some more last night, but I had to do a whatnot show, so that's where those donations would come in. I don't have to spend as much time trying to sell comics. I could spend more time making videos and these longer videos and things like that. So anyway, um, check, keep an eye out for the uh, for that video, and make sure you're subscribed so that you get alerted. I'm gonna have all of the uh, Alex Ross covers, and I'm also gonna let you know if those particular books have any um spec value as well so uh, i found it pretty interesting some of these books that they chose to do the alex ross covers on some of these books were pretty stupid honestly i think it was a really bad choice to have such a beautiful cover on some of these books but for there's a lot where it's like yes perfect and then it has a really good spec value and for those i actually show you the cover a as well so you can keep an eye out so it's a good pretty uh pretty good video it's taken me almost two weeks and i'm still not done with it yet so anyways all that out of the way let's get to number one miles morales spider-man number four and it's basically because like star wars this star wars was pretty weak but miles morales is always gonna pretty much be number one unless like i said there's star wars or something uh else that could uh and again it just depends issue to issue but generally if miles is has any spec worthiness at all it usually automatically jumps to uh the number one spot and it has the possible introduction of new spider slayers and i think that could you know that kind of thing could always come in handy in the mcu if they decide to bring miles in and um, they could even make its way into Edge of the Spider-Verse. And then you could uh, have some spec value there as well. So there's my number one. But I did want to also show you this alternate cover. This is in my thumbnail. And this is the Chris Bacalo cover. Um, I just think it's really awesome. So just something you might want to if i were to get this book i would probably honestly get this cover i know cover rays are all the rage but if you can find this cover in a really nice usually you all want like an all white or all black background uh you can get those in a high grade and get those at a nine eight those will go for a little bit more even with just the tiniest bit of spec generally because they're so so hard to get even modern day in those high grades because this tiny little like blemish or color break will show super easily all right so there's my number one the miles morales spider-man number four and i'm partake or i'm partial to the bacalo variant. all right everybody that's gonna go ahead and do it for me in this video if you did enjoy it please give this video a like by clicking that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel to see more great videos like this one and comment down below let me know what you thought about this video help me out with that youtube algorithm and i did want to uh, put the card for the 1K subscriber giveaway right here. And I'll have another card for all the books coming out in February right here. You can click the middle one to subscribe. And thanks again for checking out this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.